You probably want a piece of scrap wood or something to push down onto so you don't make a hole in your table. Or if you're doing it into your hand, make sure you don't stab yourself. So if you've got a big gap, these plastic bottle tops have actually got a little mark right in the middle. So it's easy to find the middle. Don't make these holes too big because you need it to be able to grip on here. So if you make them too big they'll spin. But that's what I'm doing. And then I'm going to wrap some tape around there. Hold them together, and that means if we need extra grip, we can wrap some rubber bands around there. But I'll try it. I'll try it without. This tape's a bit wider than I really want, so I won't even put the tape on it yet. We'll see how it goes, just like that. So, there we are. We will get wheel spin. Because this is very lightweight. So then we'll have to add the plasticine, putty, play-doh, whatever you want to call it. See the wheel spin? So we need more weight on the back to hold it down. See if that helps. That looks better.
better, so we'll go and give it a try. In the kitchen. Just trying to show you this as clearly as I can. The rubber band wraps over itself, and that's what holds it in place. This time I've done what I said I was going to do. I've taped the two bottle tops together on each side and put a rubber band around them. And that should give us some extra grip. Straight away we went much faster and much further. So you've got a choice. You can add weight or you can add grip. And personally I'd go for adding grip, but you may still need some weight to keep the wheels on the ground. I forgot to do my usual summary. I've already started taking this apart. I've taken the um, plasticine out of the back wheel there and put it away because if you leave it out it dries out. So what have we got here? We've got a rubber band powered car made from drinks stirrers, thin pieces of wood, a drinking straw at the front for the axle tube, drinking straw at the back for the axle tube, barbecue skewers for the axles front and back, plastic bottle tops for the wheels, I used two bottle tops for each wheel back to back. Given the choice I'd use bigger wheels. Uh, the bigger they are the less likely they are to do wheel spin. So these are a bit small. I'd added the plasticine to put weight in it to stop them spinning and I also put a rubber band around the outside to give it extra grip as well. But if you had bigger wheels, sort of twice the size, three times the size, four times the size, there's less tendency for them to spin. And you'll probably go further. There you go, job done.